1993, international human rights observers in Kosovo were expelled. Despite up to 200 abuses per week, no abuse case has ever been brought to a fair trial. Morale is wearing thin. The children are malnourished. Harassment is commonplace, especially at the borders. Abraham Rogova is the elected leader of the Kosovar Albanians. He continues to seek solutions to the problems in Kosovo through peaceful democratic means such as diplomacy and dialogue. At a meeting with Swedish leaders, he said, repression has increased since 1993. The international community must step up its pressure on Belgrade to change its position. As early as 1992, the U.S. Institute of Peace recommended that a stabilizing presence was needed to ease tensions in Kosovo and to avert a wider Balkan disaster. Yet so far, no one has acted on this recommendation. Warren Zimmerman, our last ambassador to Yugoslavia, has stated that we should make every effort to support democratic groups in the former Yugoslavia as the only way outsiders could counter nationalist hysteria. Should an open conflict erupt in Kosovo, the war would immediately spread beyond its borders to involve Macedonia, Greece, Turkey, Albania, and Bulgaria. At this point, world diplomats count on the silence and stability of Kosovo to prevent this whole-scale disaster. The Kosovars have remained steadfast in their commitment to lawful democracy. The world counts on their subjugation and stoicism to maintain peace in the Balkans. Solutions to the breakup of Yugoslavia must be regional and inclusive, not ethnically exclusive, the way Serbia has set it up now. To see solutions in bits and pieces is only to prolong the conflict and unrest. Kosovo must be included in discussions, articles, and efforts at diplomacy. Kosovo is a pivotal point of a vastly complex regional problem. The people of Kosovo have suffered more than their share in burying the degradation of quiet ethnic cleansing. They have every right to be part of a humane solution.